12 months ago, I embarked on a journey, a mission to capture a large mosaic of the SMC, in which I called the SMC project. I've never actually imaged the SMC in so much detail as I'm trying to do right now. It's always been one of those targets that we've always forgotten about because it's big brother, the LMC, with its famous tarantula nebula, is not too far away. So I wanted to give the little guy a chance, but it's had its challenges. I haven't always been able to capture the detail that I wanted in it. So we're starting all over, we're starting again, and we're starting with a new setup. Which brings us right now to our present. Welcome to the SMC Project 2.0. G'day everyone, how you doing? And we've got another beautiful day here in Australia. They're starting to come thick and fast, and they're getting warmer. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. It's never a good thing to leave your gear out in the heat, um, and it's also never a good thing to leave your gear out in the rain either. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, a little joke there for those that always or have been following my channel for a while would know about the rain thing. Well, what can I say? We're going to be uh, imaging the small Mantula cloud project that I've been wanting to shoot for quite some time. But things have changed a lot since the last time I've imaged it. There's a lot been going on here with the triplets. Um, mostly the way I'm imaging, which I'm increasing my sampling rate, uh, which is going to produce better detailed images um, with the RASs. And that's the whole reason I went for the QHY294M cameras is that ability to be able to switch spinning mode on them uh, to get down to about a 2.35 um, pixel uh, diameter um, to really increase that resolution of those images but obviously with that you get um, higher file sizes and with that uh, it covers everything else like data storage and processing power and, and all that so there's been a lot of work going on in the background um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to, to really give this target everything it needs to be given because it's, it's, it's just a, it's just a small little target here in, in Australia that gets neglected. The little guy gets neglected. Um, we've got the LMC, which is just absolutely beautiful. It's huge. You know, it's got NGC 2070, the Tarantula Nebula, um, which I want to be attacking that at some point, but I really want to try and get the SMC. I, I want to capture it in sort of detail that I've never captured it before. I want to give it the time in the processing um, skills that I've acquired over the, uh, the years of, of doing astrophotography. And... I want to achieve probably one of the best images that I've ever achieved. So there's going to be a lot going on with this image and it's going to take a lot of time. Now it's a 12 panel mosaic. So not only am I imaging with three rasses and having to control them and also the flats and, and everything else like that, but it's going to be a mosaic. So it's there's a lot of new ground for me, especially with mono. I haven't been imaging mono for a while um, so it's it's a lot of you know getting those uh, processes right to hopefully come out with a really nice image now I have sneakily been imaging the SMC uh, purely because I wanted to do a bit of a test on it um, the, the the way things are now and make sure everything has gone right so I've, I've shot two panels already from the 12. Uh, so we've got 10 to go. Now, really hoping that all I need is 10 clear nights. That's it to finish this project. I think we'll be pushing it, but fingers crossed anyway. Not only that, 
what I've seen so far from uh, the luminance frames that I've stacked and then merged together and processed, it's looking really good actually. Oh wow, I'll, I'll put the picture um, up over here. And if you uh, tuned into my live stream that I did uh, the other night, you would have seen a bit of a glimpse of the, uh, the two panels of the uh, the SMC, which are pretty much right in the middle of the uh, the SMC. And there's a lot of beautiful nebula going on uh, throughout there. Just wish I had another scope, could, could afford another uh, scope, maybe a, uh, a 10 inch, uh, not a 10 inch, sorry, a, an 8 inch um, edge HD or or something like that with a bit more reach to be able to um, capture some of these really nice details. But uh, yeah, I, I just, I'm, I'm really excited for this project. Also, the other thing that um, I want to point out is that the other night when I was live streaming, uh, I was shooting in mostly just green. Um, I was working on the sequences a bit more, but I was mostly wanting to shoot green because what I did is I purchase a beta um, super super G filter thinking that maybe I might be able to use that in the place of the green channel but it didn't really work out too well it just didn't look right um, so I've gone back I've reshot that in, uh, in green in the green channel with the green filter and uh, and I'm going to stick with that from, from now on the super G filter is an 03 um, 9 and then filter uh, but I do have the um, uh, the beta uh, 03 um, f2 uh, filters anyway so uh, I'm going to stick with those uh, o, that uh, f2 filter um, which is now uh, which is a 4 nm um, filter so we're going to stick with that so tonight's imaging plan is uh, RGB for about two hours of imaging so I might get maybe about an hour and a half of data, uh, and then we'll switch over to um, HA03 and uh, luminance. Now the luminance filter I'm using is a uh, luminance booster, so the UHCL uh, filter from Beta. The reason I'm doing that is because where I am here, the SMC and the LMC obviously are in the southerly direction, but not only are they in the southerly direction. So is the town of Adelaide and the huge light dome from that. So the issue I had last time trying to image the SMC was all the gradients and, and um, light pollution throughout the images. I really had a hard time extracting all that. But since putting the uh, UHCL filter in, it's made things a lot easier. And that's part of the reason why I did sneak and do a couple of uh, panels of this SMC already without uh, making a video on it until now. Um, so I'm pretty confident with that filter and I'm probably going to use that filter for now on going forward. Uh, so my beta UV uh, IR cut filters might be getting benched um, there for a little while. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, this is it. This is the beginning and I want to, I want to get this project done because ever since the expansion of these RASs have been going up, I haven't been able to com fully complete projects. I just haven't, because there's always been something else going on, something else going on, something else going on. And it's just putting delay and delay and delay into everything that I want to do and achieve. Well, yeah, there's pretty much not much really else to go with this. This is, this is it. Like, I cannot afford to spend any more money on this system and we really need to start punching out images that although I've punched out some really good images we need to crack on with it and uh, and we need to uh, hopefully achieve what I want to achieve anyway just gonna wait for it to get a bit darker and we're gonna get started
Well guys, uh, the imaging session has gone really well so far. I'm starting to really sort out the uh, the issues I've been having with the flat panels, uh, not automating as well as they should. So we've uh, got that just about sorted as well. Um, instead of using Nina's flat wizard uh, based um, instructions, uh, I've actually manually um, put in the instructions to say, you know, turn the light on, turn the light off, um, the exposure settings that I, I want and the brightness of the light panels and, and so forth. So um, having them turn on and off uh, manually as well has fixed the issue that I had when one of the RASs just didn't want to turn on. Um, also using the Pegasus uh, USB control box, uh, being able to control um, uh, everything and having power go into those USB ports. Um, has also seemed to stabilize uh, uh, that as well. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of positives so far from tonight's imaging session, uh, but right now I'm just going to change the filters over and then we'll continue on with hydrogen alpha luminance and uh, O3. Uh, and also I was hoping to capture a 47 uh, took uh, star cluster in this um, panel two that we're shooting, but it turns out it's not in panel two, I don't think. I think it's a different star cluster. Um, not to worry, we'll get it soon. Well guys, it's going on about 4.30 in the morning and I'm just about finished up with the, uh, the imaging session. It won't be long before these triplets here uh, begin to uh, finish off the session with uh, the calibration frames, um, the flat frames, and, uh, and we'll be calling it a night. Well actually, here we, uh, here we go right now. Um, Fingers crossed this works. Uh, the cover should close up and it should begin doing its flat frames. Well, we've captured about 100 gigabyte of data tonight. And uh, yeah, we're getting much closer to everything working as it should. It's a very complicated system. Uh, I very much enjoy using it. There's been a lot of times where I've thought about just, just calling it. Um, but, you know, we we're getting there with it, and uh, and I'm really enjoying uh, some of the images that I'm starting to see from it too. So uh, with a bit of luck, hopefully uh, tonight's image goes well, and you'll see it at the end in full colour. <laughs> All right, well, if this is the first video you've seen, please give me a big thumbs up. Uh, if it's other, <laughs> really tired, um, maybe check out some of my other videos, and if you enjoy them, don't forget to subscribe. All right, guys. Um, the cover mode is haven't closed up yet. Don't know what's going on. Anyway, I better go check on that, and I'm going to call it a night. So until next time, take it easy. See ya.